welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you guys can see by the title, today we are going to be doing kind of like a spot clean slash overall clean of the pet room. I also want to do a little bit of decorating for Christmas. I have a really cute little Christmas tree that I think I might put on top of Koa's tank and I may move the little future tarantula tank that I have up there now. If you guys enjoyed this video of me cleaning and setting up a Christmas tree, feeding some of the animals, feel free to subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell. I know you guys have been begging me to see Koa and Lemon, so I think I'm gonna show you guys Koa and Lemon today. I've gotten a lot of comments about Koa and Lemon. I know I haven't shown Koa in a little bit because he is a little bit into some brumation. He's not really coming out that much. He does come out once every other day because he knows it is his feeding routine. So today we will be feeding him and I will show you guys that on camera. I'm also going to do some spot cleaning in his enclosure. I think he's dirtied up his water today as usual. And then we're going to set up that Christmas tree. Hope you guys enjoy. Momo's awake. Look. She's doing so much better. She's out so much more, which is good for me because it makes me feel good seeing her active, you know. She's been doing so good. She's so sweet. Koa. I've had a ton of people request to see him, so I want to do this video and show him to you guys today. He is not going to be happy about me picking him up. All right, here he is. My grumpy little old man. People missed you. They wanted to see you. Koa spends most of his time sleeping right now since it is his kind of like a mid-brumation state. He's not deep into it, but he definitely is sleeping a lot more than normal. Honestly, Blue, Koa, and I are just biding our time until spring hits. I'm so over winter already and it just started. It's really upsetting. <laughs> Say, but that's okay. We'll get through it and then we'll be outside in no time. Say hello. You being good today? He's actually being very good today. So we're gonna spot clean his enclosure. I'm gonna add a little bit more eco-earth, moisten it up. We're gonna change his water and today is also feeding day. So we have lots to do for little Coco. All right, bud, there you go. You gotta straighten up your enclosure. Deck the whole street. I like to make sure to add new eco earth in Koa's enclosure. Every couple weeks, I'll just add a little bit because I do do a lot of spot cleaning, so I'm constantly pulling out little bits of Eco Earth. So we just kind of want to replenish it, moisten it up, and he likes that. All right, Toe, are you hungry? There you go. You got some yummy worms and some yummy vegetables and some berries. He does not like it when I watch. He doesn't like it when I film. He doesn't like it when I'm around. My grumpy toe. Get your worms before they get away. You know you want them. You're sitting on your worms. You need to eat your worms. What are you doing? Get out of your bowl. You're getting your food dirty. You see the camera? I know you do. You don't like it? What are you looking at? I love you. I'm sorry you're grumpy. What are you doing, silly? Look at that little butt. If those aren't dinosaur legs, I don't know what is. <laughs> All right, here's my lemon. Here is my baby. Say so we are fat as ever. Can you guys see how fat she is? Like in comparison to my finger. Look how huge. So big. I know you guys have missed her, so we will see if she'll eat a worm for us. Let's see if she'll take this worm for me. Good girl.
I love this frog so much. It's insane. <laughs> Such a good big fat girl. All right, so we're just gonna give Lemon some clean water. I come up here and I check her temperature every day. It says she's right around 78, 79, which is good. And then we give her tank a really good mist, including her. Do this about once a day. And Lemon is done. That's a beautiful girl. Hi, baby. Hello. You haven't seen me in a whole two hours. Oh my goodness. You hungry? Come here. I got you some spring mix, some fresh organic spring mix from the store. I know you want it. Just gonna stomp in it. <laughs> there he goes. Can't turn down them yummy greens. By the way, I did just mist him down and I missed down his whole enclosure too. That's why it's a little bit moist. I've been misting him down and his enclosure once a day. I think it's good just to keep up humidity, especially while it's winter and we are stuck inside. Obviously it will dry out by the end of the day, but it keeps up the humidity. It can prevent pyramiding. And also it's good when it's really dry weather like right now, cause it's winter time and we can't go outside. So we get a good mist every day, don't we? Yes, you go baby. You said you're a good boy. So I have this really cute little Christmas tree that I normally keep on our dining table, but but we do have our Christmas tree set up in the living room, like our big actual real one. So I felt like one was enough. And also we don't have our dining table in there anymore. We're doing a lot of renovations in the house, like my bathroom. You guys know I'm renovating my master bathroom. And we're also gonna be repainting the entire dining room and probably the kitchen. So. We actually have our dining table in our new storage shed outside. So we have a lot we're doing. So I thought I would put this in here and it would be really pretty. So these are all the little ornaments in here that I kind of have to set this up. I have like a miniature little tree skirt, which actually matches my big Christmas tree that's in the living room, which I'll show you guys. This skirt actually matches it, but it's the miniature version. So I think that's really cute. So we'll put that on there. I'm really big on gold and silver Christmas trees. So all of my balls and ornaments are pretty much gold and silver that are going to be on this tree too. Because I love them. Yeah, so we're going to get decorating. that I've kind of collected over the years. Just some little bitty snow globes. I usually sit it around the Christmas tree. <sighs> it's so cute. Can you guys see it? It's so pretty. I want to show you. Here's my little Christmas tree on top of Koa's tank. You can see him in there grumpy as ever. Look how pretty. There it is. It's so cute, so pretty. And now the pets have their own little Christmas tree. So adorable. Okay guys, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind, bye.